five weeks after the Houston Half Marathon, I will be running the... Hey guys, welcome back, and I hope you're ready for another fun workout. In my last video, you saw me do something very half marathon specific, six miles at half marathon effort. And in that video, I told you I was gonna run the Houston Half Marathon. And I told you I would run a marathon, and I would give you my marathon announcement on this channel. Five weeks after the Houston Half Marathon, I will be running the Seville Marathon in Seville, Spain. Really excited about this race. I know it's a great opportunity for me to give myself a shot at making this Olympic team for Canada. I'm gonna try to run the Olympic standard, which is 208.10. Looked like one of the best places in the world to do it based on past results, and also some friends of mine that I know have run it have said that it's super fast, great weather, good organization. It should be a great opportunity for me to try to run as fast as humanly possible. You're gonna see me do a workout that is kind of a bread and butter marathon training for me. It is called a marathon simulation. So we simulate the marathon by getting our legs tired and then trying to run around marathon pace or effort. Uh, in this specific video, we're in Flagstaff, Arizona on Lake Mary Road. So marathon pace might not be attainable entirely, uh, but marathon effort is what we're shooting for. And we did two mile warm up, 10 miles at around six minute pace, just something that, you know, is, is moderate. And then we did eight miles at marathon effort. And uh, this was really exciting because I'd say this was out of uh, the many marathon simulations I'd done in the past. This is probably my best work on Lake Mary Road. And that's pretty exciting considering this was my first one of the block. I wasn't entirely sure what the body would give me at this point. But yeah, uh, super encouraging. Uh, hope you like it. Check it out. All right, so we just finished 12 miles in about six minute average pace, just under, and now we're about to start eight miles at marathon effort, uh, heading back to mailboxes, so this is the fun part. like 457 average. Really? That's like five, six seconds better than I've ever done. Really? Good workout, dude. I mean, it's a beautiful day. When you have this kind of condition, it's, it's easier to run fast, but definitely fit. So it's encouraging. But yeah, beautiful stuff. Only two miles, five minutes or slower. The rest were like between 455 and 457. So. Not as smooth as Mr. Bia. <laughs> He always looks the smoothest. Look at those legs, man. Look at those legs. Had a little two mile warm up. Then we did 10 at 
a little under six minute pace, then eight, probably a little average under five minute pace. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Really solid day. Woo! See those shoes are the best. Best in the business right there. Yeah, do you agree? This one felt easier because this is kind of like a, a comfortable zone. Yeah. So like sub five minute pace is just a zone that I've gotten really efficient at over the years. That like workout on Wednesday, six miles, 436. You don't run sustained 436 miles very frequently. So that one feels harder, but just because of the intensity is higher. They both felt good, which is encouraging. So yeah, I mean, this one, is the bigger workout for what we're training for, which is a marathon, but both were really complimentary. And if you can do both, you're in a really good spot. So happy with it.